Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Reed and this is Reed's Beauty Trip and this is my July, yes, July empties. I had to think for a minute, make sure I was doing this right. So, um, I have no mascara on, I just noticed. I need to step that up a little bit. Okay, let's just get into my empties. So we're gonna go, I went through quite a few wipes today, um, this time. Two of them were like travel sizes or deluxe sample sizes. And the other two I had one um, in a different room when I was doing some stuff and then another one on my makeup table. So one was like in my, um, I keep one in the bathroom and then I keep one on my makeup table. So we do have a few of these. So if you guys all know it, my Botanics All Bright with Hibiscus. Hello. I always have these. I love these. These are some of my favorite. They're very inexpensive. I love what they do. The brightening, the use of them, everything. I'm just like, yes. So you'll always see, you know, everyone's I mean, I've got other wipes that I've been trying because you're going to see that. Um, but this is one of my top three. Mm. Some things are changing because, and you're going to hear a little bit in a minute, but I'm going to sound like such a kid because, you know, a lot of people like wipes and stuff. A lot of these are biodegradable. Some are biodegradable. Some are not. And that is something you can always look into on that. Um, I know Simple has compostable ones. All May has biodegradable ones. If you research it, you can find a lot of that product. So, Botanics, this is a natural one. These are not the organic ones. They do have organic ones also. And they come in green packaging. Um, with Botanics, if it's got green packaging, it's the organic line versus their natural line. And there is a difference. But will I already purchase this? Oh, heck yeah. I already got more over there. Mm. Another one that I got, and this was actually one of my travel packs. This is my number seven revitalizing cleansing wipes. Um, I like these. These are, I do not like them as much as my Botanics, I will be honest. So everybody who knows that I am a number seven freaky deek. Mm. Um, these are in my top five. They are not in my top three. <gasps> I know, but I do like them. Um, they are suitable for sensitive skin. It's like for healthier skin, all that stuff. So they're not a bad, uh, this rooster tail thing, I don't know what I'm going to do. There's some pomade in my future, I swear. Oh, look, it's taming down. Maybe, maybe. Anyway. The other one is my Pond Soothe, and this was a vitamin micellar water one. That is really why I, I really wanted to try this one, the Calendula and Vitamin B3. These are okay. They, I don't want to say they leave a little scum, does that make sense? But with the Calendula and the vitamin stuff, it does leave a coating. So like for nights and stuff, when I want that, um, they are okay. Um, for me when I'm getting ready in the morning or, or just, you know, wiping off the sleep grime as I call it. Uh, not so much, <sighs> but, um, they have nighttime ones I like better and I do really like those, the nighttime ones. These are new. That's why I bought them to try them. So these are ones I would probably, these are the ones I keep more like in my bathroom and I, or even by my bed when, if I feel like I can get everything off or something, I might use these. So. Are they in my top five? No. Mm. Nope. Mm. There's so many other ones I like better. Mm. So. I just discovered these. And if you've seen any of my videos, this is the Tony Moly Peach Punch Cleansing Tissue. This is like Meissler White Porn for me. How do I, how, how else do I explain this? It is literally <sighs> Meissler White Porn. I'm just telling you. Ugh. These are now in my top three for my Sir Wipes. These will be on my list. These, when I get down to only a few packages of my Sir Wipes, I will be purchasing these. Oh my gosh. You just don't know. I'm in love. I've been doing, my husband's been laughing at me. He's like, if I get upset, go sniff one of your wipes. That's literally what he told me because I love these things. So are these definitely, yes, these are my new, if you don't like scented, you'll hate these. These are so strongly scented. They are so, they've got so much fragrance. 
but oh my god, mm. this is my 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 my, my makeup white porn. I just want to say that makeup white porn. Oh, oh. Mm. Okay, next. So we had these beauty wipes, various different. These are like travel ones. Um, so it came in for face cleaning wipes, teeth whitening wipes, feminine wipes, all in one kit. Mm. Um, so I gave them to my doctor. Mm. So, but it's got the little triad of things. It was sent to me to try. I tried it. Well, I tried a couple, and then the rest went to sissy. Mm. Not a rebuy. Mm. There's other ones I find like way, way, way better. Mm. Okay. Mm. If you know me, thermal water, my facial mist. I finished up my Vichy. Mm. I'm so upset. Mm. But I have more. Mm. But I switched to another one that I'm not as enthused about. So I am heartbroken that this is used. Will I purchase this again? Yes. Yes, I will. Mm. Because I love my Vichy mineral water spray. My thermal mineral water spray. I love my Vichy. I love my La Roche. Mm. So, this is always a rebuy. This is one of my favorites. It's got, it's got a couple of squirts in it. This is my fountain of youth. Just saying. It's not, but it, yeah. Put that in the bag. The next one I have is a nail polish pad remover. I had, I had gotten it on clearance, so I used that up before it dried up. They don't sell them anymore. That brand's gone kaput. Studio 35 is, no, is uh, out of commission. Then my cake smooth mask. I love cake hair masks. Mm. I have a, a lot of their hair products. Their hair masks, I love. I wish they were in jars versus this because with my short hair now, this takes almost a whole month to use up. Mm. But I do love it. I do. They do have a pre-shampoo mask that's in a like it looks like it's in a sherbet like an ice cream uh, container. Um, I love that one too, but this is the, this one is the Smooth Move, totally to die for, Moisture Melt Hair Mask, it's in one of my project pans, but this took a while to use because I don't have as much hair as I used to, and when I bought this, I had more hair, so if that tells you how long I've had it, but um, it works really good, I love this stuff, it just makes my hair feel, I mean, I, I just want to touch, touch my back of my hair, mm. Mm. I have issues, mm. it's fine, I used up, mm. Some of my quilted squares. Mm. I mean, you're going to see these every couple months. I mean, let's be honest. But I'm trying to use up my generic ones. My, um, I really want to switch over completely to my Shishido um, wipes. Uh, cotton round squares. I love them the best. Uh, they're, they're just... Okay, so this is... It's the last one of this. Because mm. I wanted to show you. So this is this one. Which, these are nice. Don't get me wrong. I've used these... And then I discovered Shishido. Mm. And hello, Shishido. I love these. These are, to me, a just, they work, they're just so much nicer. I mean, I'm sure I could go to the first aid section in a drugstore and get gauze, mm. cotton, and cut it up in squares. I'm not going to do that. Mm. So, so that's what these are. Um, I'm trying to use up all the ones I have these because when they went on sale I bought stocked up and all that stuff so I had these mm -hmm. I have these squares and then I, I just use these squares up then I have the rounds that I have to use up next so mm -hmm. stay in stay in your stay in your lane okay so th and this was a 200 count so this did take a few months mm -hmm. I go through them but I don't go through them that fast mm -hmm. Another thing that I used up was my Shea Moisture Coconut 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Shampoo. Mm -hmm. I did not like this on my long hair. I do like this on my short hair. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm finding this a lot. You can see it. There was a little bit left, so I actually used it in my bath water because I couldn't get it out to use on my hair, so I used it to soak in the water. There's a little... <laughs> but anyway, um, I love... I do like this. I like this with my short hair. It's another thing that makes my hair feel so soft. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't do the frizzy thing. This stuff, this is rooster. Mm. I just, that's all. Mm. Another must have that is on my makeup table is my hair, skin, nails, gummies. 
2,500, this is my 2,500 milligram or whatever of biotin, and tax and vitamin C, you know, um, I take two of these a day. Mm. For my hair, my nails, mm. Mm. skin, mm. you know, work from the inside out too. Mm. Gotta do it. Mm. Mm. I finished the fragrance. This is my fragrance. If you know, this is one of my... This is my one of my number one fragrances is by Kate Spade. Live colorfully. Um, she is missed. I it's still. I mean, she's been gone now a few years, but she was a wonderful designer creator. I love her fragrances. I love her. I love her designs. But then I discovered her fragrances, and Live Colorfully is my number one fragrance from her. It is in my top three. My number one is Hypnos um, by. Lancome, which I have not even opened the box for this, because um, I just got it, I just ordered it um, about two months ago, and I have over 100 fragrances, so I'm leaving it in the box. But this one, I have every time I find it, like at Ross, TJ Maxx, um, I buy it. So I have various sizes. I have from. So this size to bigger and stuff like that. But this is one of my uh, comfort smells. So yes, it is definitely, we're all about this top three thing. But I love it. I do. I'm sad it's gone. I think I'm almost used them all up now. Well, let's use another fragrance. Okay, so another one was my Rue 21 Floral. This was in a project pan for my um, Big Battle Showdown. This was, it's like 90%, 90% natural. So it's got a little bit of oils to it. it. This one was Peach Phrygia and Sweet Musk for happiness and beauty. To me, I love the peach that was mixed in with the musk. It really cut into that musk. So I'm not a really strong musk person, but with the peach, I really like this one. Um, I don't know if they make this one anymore, but I do like this collection. I, th I think I saw it. Right after the holidays, they still had it, but I don't know if they have it now. I haven't been in there. Mm -hmm. They haven't been open. Okay, so the little baggies. Let's let's grab some little baggies. Oh, no, nope, we got one more for you. Like I said, if you've been keeping up with my videos, I have Project Pan. I did use up my Glow by J.Lo. Mm -hmm. um, this one did not rock my world. I like J. Lux better. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine loves J. No. I like J. Love. She likes J. Lux. I love... J Love. Mm. Um, but this one's okay. But it's not one that I was like, oh, I can't live without it. It's not in my top five. It's not in my top ten. It's probably not in my top twenty. Let's be honest. Mm. So will I repurchase this? No. Mm. If it's in a holiday set with my J Love, yes. Mm. Let's be honest. Mm. Now we got, okay, so this was the, this was that teeth white, pearly white. Mm. I didn't notice. Mm. This is one of my single um, use zones. Like when I run out of wipes and I don't have any wipes on my desk when I'm doing stuff, um, I do have singles in a little spot. Mm. That's what this is. I wish I could find some more of these. I love this pink penny by Real Simple. Um, everybody's like, oh, simple. No, it's not simple. It's real simple. There are two different brands. Real Simple is separate from Simple. So, um, different type of stuff, and it says it removes 99% of your most stubborn makeup. It does really good, really. It's just as long as, you, if you're fragrance sensitive, no. Just say no. Mm. Don't use it. Mm. Kate Somerville, Wrinkle Warrior. Okay, I ordered a bigger container of this because I want to try this more. I kind of was, I liked it. I'd like to know more about it. So, I did, um... It says one use, 100% shown improvement to the, in the look of wrinkles. Um, I work really hard to keep my wrinkles under control. <laughs> so, but I did, um, this is a two-in-one plumping moisturizer. This was in, I ordered it. Um, I think it's in my FabFitFun thing and I ordered it in FabFitFun. <laughs> so it, it's cheaper than buying it um, at Sephora or Ulta. <laughs> But I did like this. And I am buying a larger size so I can try this. Mm. Just saying. Mm. Okay, what are we getting to? Mm. We got some more small tubies. Mm. 
Let's play with the tubies. Tuba, 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 tuba. Okay. This is my little fragrance atomizer. It really doesn't count. I somehow jacked up the bottom. So now I can't put fragrance in it. This is really handy because like with my bigger bottles, I could put some of this in and then this is what I would take to work. And I would wear this during the day. Now I need to order a new one. I'll probably order two since I killed this one. I've had this one for about nine months before I killed it. Mm. Age Perfect Hydro Nutrition by L'Oreal. This is the Manuka Honey. This is my favorite line of Age Perfect by L'Oreal is the Manuka Honey. Um, I actually use this on my elbows. It's a balm. So I liked it on my elbows and stuff. That's where I used it. Um, it and definitely I, if I'm going to buy a L'Oreal skincare product, it is going to be the Manuka Honey one. I really like it. I love the under eye one too with the roller balls. <laughs> So, um, definitely, this is my favorite. There's other ones out there. There's a pink one, which um, Helen Moran, they have sponsor and all that. But I am more of the, I'm, I like the Manuka honey. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Dr. Brandt Needles No More, No More Baggage Eye Serum. Um, I like this. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is I have two full-size bottles of this. Mm -hmm. So, use this up. I, I, I have two full size bottles of this, so let, let, if that tells you anything. So I definitely do like it. Um, it is, I'm not a big Dr. Brandt person, but I do like this one. This one makes me happy. Mm. So yes, the ID Puffing Gel. I like this. I recommend it. If you have any of the, the issues and stuff like that, this is wonderful. Wonderful. Just saying. Mm. Yes, skincare wise. Sorry, Zinnia. Skincare wise, yes. Sheila, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. next is my Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Radiance. I have two of these. Mm -hmm. So I finished one. I've got another one to finish. It's it's not, I haven't pulled it out of a drawer because I'm working on a different primer and then another primer. I, it, the primers are never ending. Mm -hmm. So is it okay? Yes, I like it. it. The Laura Mercier, I do like a lot of Laura Mercier stuff. I actually have, is that the lipstick I have on? I don't know if it's Geller or Mercier. Hold on. I have, nope, it's Geller. The lipstick I have on is by Geller, not Mercier. Sometimes I get them confused, okay? So would I buy this again? No. I have a Radiance Foundation Primer that I like better and that I, I would prefer to use. So this is a no. I wouldn't repurchase it, uh, but will I use it? Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not in my top 10. Mm. Does that sound bad? That I have more than 10 primers? Or, yeah, primers. Anyway. Mm. So, it's okay. It does its job. It. I like it better than the Juice Beauty one. Juice Beauty one has, also has a Radiance one, which I'm finishing up right now. I'm not overly, overly impressed with that one. Mm. We're getting down to the bottom, women. Mm. Okay. Here's some more small tubies. Okay, so here is the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing. It's okay, it's good, I liked it, but it's not one that I'm going to spend the money on and repurchase. There's other skincare that works just as good, if not better, moisturizer wise. So, is it okay? Yes. If you like Clinique, definitely check this one out. This Moisture Surge, it really plumps. Mm. The cheekies. Mm. Oh, that made my nose go up. Monkey face. Mm. Monkey face. Okay. I'm easily in entertained today. Mm. This one, oh yes, I am buying this one. This is the Bioderma Hydro Bio Light Moisturizing Care. This is a lightweight moisturizer by Bioderm. That is a number third skincare company in France. And it is moving, it is trying to unseat the top two, which I wear the top two also. This, definitely, I will repurchase this mm. when I use up some of my others. That, let's just, side note, when I finish up some of my others. But yes, Bioderma, this Hydro Bio, hello, and it's very, it is, it says it's light moisturizing, it's so lightweight, so lightweight. Okay, let's do some makeup. I really haven't touched on a lot of makeup. Hold on. Okay, 
Mascara. Clump Crusher. This isn't bad. Um, it's okay. It's CoverGirl. Me and CoverGirl have a love-hate relationship. I love to hate them. Mm. There's some things I like by CoverGirl, but on the most part, I really do hate. So I also finished up this concealer. I hate it. Hated it. Hated using it the whole time, but I used it up. This is my love-hate relationship. CoverGirl and me, not so good. And it's a shame because I, I keep trying. I keep trying. I buy stuff to try and love. Now, some of their new clean makeup, the pink stuff, mm. We're going to try that out. We're going to see how it goes. Mm. But these two, eat, hate, 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 hate. And this was the Vitalist. Healthy. Did nothing. I'm an older woman. I need that Vitalist. I need the healthy. Oh. Mm. The Clump Crusher, it's okay. It does, it, the thickening lashes, thicker lashes, heck yeah. Mm. Would I buy them? Again, no. Revlon, this is my favorite lip scrub of all. I use this every morning when I do my lips, when I do my skincare. This lip, this Sugar Mint by Revlon lip scrub. Hello, I put it on, it melts down. I don't have problems with my lips. I don't have the dead skin, the peeling, nothing. It goes on. This is this is this Sugar Mint um, scrub exfoliant balm, exfoliating balm. Ooh la la. I have one in my thing, and everybody's, everybody's, nice. everybody's like, oh, you're going to love it. It's a new one. It just came out, and it's by Soap and Glory, and I love Soap and Glory. I don't like the lip scrub. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. But this one, I always have this. Always have this in my collection. I think I have five more tubes of this. When it's on sale, I stock up. Mm -hmm. Eyes. We're getting, oh, well, no, cheeks. Let's do cheeks first. Cheeks. I used up this little sample of Siate. Date night. I loved it so much I broke it. It's a nice baked blush. I don't know if it's a baked blush, but it felt like a baked blush. Loved it. <laughs> Abused it. Makeup! We're doing the makeup. We're doing the eyes. ColourPop. Cuteologist. This was a struggle. I've had it a couple years in my collection. I finally used it up. I've had to franken it in the last couple months, like two or three times. Put a little bit of argan oil to keep it going. Just keep the life in it. Not that I really need to, but I cannot waste stuff. I just can't. So guess what? I franken stuff when I can't make it work. Mm. My Stila. Mythical. This, I mean, I took out the stopper. There, nothing. Mm. I even put eye drops in it to rejuvenate it. Love it. I love my Stila um, liquid eyeshadow. I do. I love it. Um, I'm expanding more and more on some of the other ones. I just got um, some kimchi. I just got some other stuff. Uh, I can't even remember what everything I've got. But I'm playing with them. But this, this is some of my Stila. But I need to start using it because some of my Stila eye liquid creams, liquid eye stuff is two years old. Mm. Then I also used up my number seven cream eyeshadow. Mm. This was, I always want to call it Petal Pink, but I don't think that's it. Pink Pearl. Mm. Um, I can't even get this in the States anymore. Mm. And I think I have two more sticks of this. <laughs> Hence why it's in my collection. Hence why I use one of them up. So as I go, I'm trying to use up my cream shadows because some of my cream shadows are two or three years old. Um, I have a, full, a cream shadow quad that is almost 10 years old that I'm trying to use up. Mm. It's not in my empties. I'm using it right now. But, um... This is a work in progress. Rooster tail. Rooster tail. Mm. Anyway, so this is the end of my empties in July. I think I had, I didn't have too many, but obviously I jabbered a lot about them. So this went on for a bit. I do apologize. Mineral water does the body good. Um, it does my body good. So I hope everybody um, is doing great working and playing with our makeup and their skincare. And I hope you're getting progress if you're working on project panning. If you know me, I do do project panning. I love using up my stuff. I don't want it to set around and go to waste or go bad. So um, I hope everyone else had a wonderful July. I hope you were productive with your July stuff. And now we're into August, so oh my gosh. <laughs> So I will talk to you soon. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.